Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a very important video. This has been something that I have needed to do for a few days now, honestly, since it's, what, August 3rd now. But uh, there was an issue with something that I said in a video, and I need to clarify something, and I think that a lot of people need to be told this, because I, like a lot of other people, thought that uh, the brand new idea set was actually a playable piano. And the way that it's marketed and the way that it's worded in the press releases and different things may technically, you know, not uh, get them in trouble because what they say is true. It's some of the wordings and things and at least the way that it was marketed as it being playable and every key functions like a piano, a real piano made it seem like you could actually play the piano any way that you wanted. So... In my mind, and I think in a lot of other people's, there were three options of how you could play. You could play the piano, um, of course, by actually letting it go by itself, and it could just play the keys, and it looks really spooky and everything, uh, just letting it go by itself. And then the other option was to actually uh, play certain songs that uh, are pre-installed and different things like that, so... Um, you could play along with it, and uh, with every key you actually play, you, you could actually follow along. So I think it was like Jingle Bells and Happy Birthday and different things are on that list of the songs that you can play. Again, even the wordings in the press release, there was a huge debate on the LEGO Ambassador forums and different things about how many songs were actually playable because different things in the press release said different things. So in general, it was already very confusing and then once the reviews and different things came out and uh now we officially know and this was actually brought to me by bricks ahoy my goodness it is one of the best videos i've ever seen from from someone in the lego community please watch it he talks about how it actually works and he's really the reason why i'm doing this video and sharing this with you so go check it out he actually talks about the science behind everything and how the actual piano works and functions but i'll just give you like the dulled down version but the way that it works is when you press a key it, it doesn't actually read it as that note like it's not an a or an a sharp or something like that it's just it's just a key being played and the the actual reader in the back it like covers it so it's like a scanner so it pushes down or something and any, anyways so the scanner is only able to detect that a key is played when you press any key on the piano it does the exact same thing and now i said that it would be really cool to be able to play like duel of fates and you know just anything like the batman soundtrack and iron man and, and all these things i was having all these ideas the pirates of the caribbean soundtrack I was even thinking about even starting potentially like a Lego piano channel. I was going to relearn how to play the piano and different things like that and, and like play it all on the Lego piano, like playing Duel of Fates on the Lego piano. I thought that would be really cool, but you can't do that and you can't program. I don't believe you can't add any songs to this either. So the way that it works is if you've ever played like on an electric piano, which is one that I had like lessons on, there's all these pre-programmed songs and the keys will light up to tell you to press that one. But the other option is you can turn off the lights and just like pretend that you're playing anything and you could just push any random key and it'll play the next note in the song. So you could just mash it really fast and it would play the song really fast. You could mash it really slow and it could any random key. It could be a black key, a white key, it didn't matter. Um, it still would sound like you're actually playing that song, which is how that actually works, is the playable aspect of it. Yes, you can push on the key. Yes, it, the sound will come out of your phone, but it's not actually that key that you're supposed to be pressing and different things like that. So I've been selling it to people that way, and I hope that, uh, you know, if you were one of the few that spent 350 i think or 399 and 450 a uh, canadian i apologize like i genuinely i wanted to see reviews and different things first before i made this video to see if that was actually true what he had sent me so it's really disappointing the way that it was marketed i think was not the best and as well they just couldn't decide on how many songs even in the actual video it shows that 10 songs could be played meanwhile i think it says like six in the press release so it's just it's just frustrating and confusing with this thing. So I just needed to do this video to share with you that this isn't actually playable. It it, it may be playable. It, it's it's 
technically playable. You could play alongside it, but I don't know. Not the way that it was worded, not the way that uh, everyone else probably thought when they heard playable piano. So it's it's pretty disappointing. In my opinion, there is no way that I'm spending $450 on that. I need to just share this with you. So please check out this video if you want to see the, the actual functionality of it. It's really awesome. Incredible video. Go check him out. Uh, he really deserves uh, all, all the love and support. He just started his channel as well with this incredible quality video. So go check him out. Uh, Bricks Ahoy, linked in the description and at the end of the video. But anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this video nonetheless. And I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.